Shimaya, and I'm here with Pokemon Trainer Brian. And we are here for a Pokemon special episode for Hot, Hot Takes. Takes. In this video, Brian and I are going to give each other our opinions on certain things, ask each other's questions. But wait, there's more! You can participate as well at home in the comment section below. And all you have to do afterwards is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to get further uploads from this channel. And be a part of the Reshimon Squad. I'm a proud member ever since 2020. I can't believe it's been that long. But yeah. anyhow, with all that said inside, I will ask before we start, when you comment your opinions, down below, folks, please keep things friendly because we don't want any badly poisoned effects to happen and us to have to run to the mart and get an antidote. Basically, keep things friendly and don't make any toxic comments like down that. below. I like that. I like what you just said there. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Yes. But no seriousness. Yeah. Just please keep things clear, uh, clean in the comment section below because opinions make life interesting. And if exactly. we, none of us had opinions, that we agree on. Board. Opinions are just opinions. They're not like facts or anything. Yeah. I mean, granted, you can have your opinion and you can respect someone else's opinion and you can still stick true to your own. And no harm in that. So, exactly. With all I've heard, do. Let's get I think, started. I think we're good. Okay. So, hot take number one I think you brought music, Pokemon music, right? Yeah. In my humble opinion, the best music from the Pokemon games are from Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, Diamond and Pearl, and Black and White, and the worst music, in my opinion, is from Sword and Shield. Okay, Gallery, yeah, yes. Uh, yes. I can't really debate anything because I've never... Uh, well, well, um, never played yeah, the games never, with the volume yeah, with on. the music on, yes. But I would have to agree with a lot. Uh, actually, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I never really get tired of the Pokemon Center music. I do not disagree with you. It's very calming. It's very relaxing. Relaxing. And, and plus, you know, on repeat, I thought, I don't, if you were to listen for repeat, I think you would feel a lot more calmer, like calmed down more than annoyed. So, yeah. uh, Pokemon Center music, I like it a lot. And I'm glad it carried through for a lot of games. Um, next one. And, mm. and I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of comments about this. Yep. Most Charizard. overrated Pokemon. Charizard is unfortunate. A lot of people say Charizard is one of the most overrated Pokemon ever, but they're not wrong. I mean, think they're, about it. They're not. I mean, you get two Mega Evolutions, you get... A Gigantamax form in the games. And, like, everybody... Mostly has a Charizard, right? Looking at Red, Lance, Leon, Alon in the anime, Ash has one. And then you also think about video game because the a lot TCG, of people, yeah, yeah. TCG, uh, like everyone says, oh, Charizard's the chase card. And I always like, when a Charizard release, I'm like, please stop with the Charizards. But it's always good to, you know, have other Pokemon shine. But despite me agreeing with Charizard being overrated, it's actually one of my favorites, considering that I chose it when I first played Pokemon Fire Red back Where in the would day it be on your, like, top ten-ish? It would easily be two or one for me. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Um, and this is a hot take that Reshimon and I disagree on. One of his favorite starters is Primarina, yet if you ask me, Primarina is one of my least favorites. Because yeah, which is respectful, yes. yeah. But um, I don't give them crap I for it. I don't know who my least favorite starter is. <laughs> That's actually a good question. I don't have a. Mine is a, my least favorite starter is Cinderace. Okay, yes, yeah, Cinderace. From Sword and Shield. Yes. I will say Scorbunny. I do think is cute, and I think Raboot looks cool. But Cinderace. Oh, no, right. I think we've no. had way too many fire stars. Um. Oh, actually, that leads into a perfectly. In your opinion, what's the best starter for each type? Hmm. Put it right in there. I'm going to think nice and hard about this one. I know Venusaur was pretty good, especially in the days of Mega Evolution with it having thick fat. 
taking half Isn't that damage. Ability? Say that again. Yeah. Ability? Yeah. Taking half damage from fire and ice, being a offensive tank, considering how much of a monster it is. Mega Sceptile was interesting, but it does have that dreaded times four weakness to ice. I'd have to say Venusaur is probably the best of the grass type starters. The best of the fire types is either Charizard or Blaziken. I was gonna, I was thinking you were gonna say Incineroar. Eh, he's not. Bad. It's not terrible, but it's at least it's better than Typhlosion competitively, which I actually like Typhlosion. Please don't yeah. hunt me down in the comments, mm -hmm. folks. But if you ask me, Cinderace is my least favorite. But then, of, like, Blaziken's up there. Blaziken, in my opinion, is easily among the top two okay. of strongest fire types. And when it comes to the water starters, I'd have to say the strongest is probably... Hmm, probably either around Feraligator or maybe Quackwobble. Dude, that guy is so fun. Funny looking. Or Swampert having a good type with its only weakness being grass. But I can't say for sure who the strongest water type starter is in my opinion. Honestly, when I first saw Sprigatico Sprigatito in uh, Scarlet, and Scarlet Violet, Violet I meet how do you browse? You immediately wanted to use it? Yeah, it was, uh, what's the final evolution? Meowscarada. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that. I love that Pokemon. I was initially put off by its design at first because I was hoping it would be like a quadruped yeah. cat, like mm -hmm. a jaguar or a cheetah, but nope, they made it bipedal. It's the same case with Pokemon like Delphox. Like, why would you take a quadruped and put it on two legs? Like, yeah. they ruined Tepig after it evolved into Pig Knight. True. Um, Same with uh, Fennekin and Abrasive. So, grass. So, mirror. Okay. Um, fire? I'm going to have to go with Blaziken. Uh, water? Even though I like Primarina, she's not the best. I'm going to go with Swampert. I, I, I really like Swamper, especially his mega design. It doesn't look ridiculous. I mean, seriously, he looks like a, he went to the gym and lifted a thousand weights or something. But I'm, but it may have skipped leg day in the process. <laughs> just kidding. True. Do not skip leg day, folks. Uh, yeah, uh, just like Batman doesn't. Or no. Batman does not skip leg day. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. He works out all of his muscles. Mm -hmm. Right, mm hmm that just made me think of a song. Who doesn't skip what day? Pop, pop. No, wait, no. Let's try to avoid copyright strikes in the whole. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Listen, if that does if this if that video if this video gets copyrighted because of that. That's yeah. No. Yeah. That's Anyhow. high school levels of petty. Anyhow, but that's not the point. Um, strangest looking mega. Hmm. In my opinion, the worst ones are Mega Sharpedo, because all they did was just make its nose longer. That and, I can't disagree with. And Mega Slowbro basically has the shell eat its entire body, save the arms and head. And then, who's it? Mega Gallade? Mega Gallade, they just give it a cape and make its blades bigger, and they make its body white, but Gallade is still a cool Pokemon. Right, and it's right or four. Uh... For me, and I feel like a lot of people are going to get a little heated at me for this, Mega Garchomp. And it's not that I don't like Garchomp. I like Garchomp. He's really cool. But I think the regular form just gives me a bigger fear factor than the Mega. Which I can actually kind of agree with you on, because if you give Garchomp, like, a regular item, like, say, a Choice Scarf or... He's still going to be effective no things. matter what. Yes. It's still a, it's still a beast. It's a... It's a in my opinion, if you have 10 more speed, base speed than your Mega Form, and you can do a lot of damage with a better item, yeah, Mega Garchomp just gets outclassed by its regular form. Yes. Um, 
Although I think its design looks cool. It, even it, though I'm not. Uh, yeah, his design is cool. Don't get me wrong, but like, yeah, strangest looking. What's your favorite mega? Hmm. So many good megas and so hard to choose. But if you ask me, which one of the my one of my favorites is easily Mega Rayquaza, given that that thing was a competitive god. Yes. Oh. Not to mention, its shiny form is really, really majestic and awesome. Mega Gengar. Mmm. Especially when it's shiny. Yes. Yes. Mega Gengar shiny. Oh. Woo. Woo. The White Phantom comes out of the shadows to attack. Yes. That. It literally. I. I remember. Because I have a Mega Gengar. That's shiny in Pokemon Go, and he looks absolutely insane. Go ahead, come up with one. Who do you think is the worst gym leader of all time? I'm really going to say... Speed. Speed from Sword and Shield. Yes, yeah, Speed from Sword and Shield. I mean, seriously, that guy was probably the worst at everything you could name. Like, given just how much of a it's a companion, rival, gym leader. Yeah. Just the person in general. I mean, given that he was just a pompous, overconfident jerk, it's just <laughs> no. Like, yeah. Well, I do not like mean he, to. He would literally say, "Oh, I'm just gonna beat you," yeah. and then like never. All because really... I'm endorsed by the chairman himself. That makes me better than you. Like. Dude, if no, I doesn't. kick your butt each time we face each other, you are not better than me. No. You're just condescending. Like, right. I do not wish to be mean and mean folks, but I personally do not feel Beeb when feel bad for Beeb when he gets disqualified from the no. gym challenge. I'm sorry, but I just don't feel bad for him at all. No. I just la I laugh every single time. Who is my least favorite yes. gym leader? I actually have two. They are Opal, also from Sword and Shield. I do not wish to be disrespectful to the Elders, but Opal's questions just really tilted me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the questions just really tilted yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and, got you the wrong way. Yes. And but I do highly respect my Elders. You should do the same with yours, kids. And I do not like Roxanne from Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Even though... Uh, spoiler, um, yeah, uh, we won't say what happened in our last video we made. Good call. Coming out soon. Yes. Uh, yes. anyhow. Uh, I had trouble beating her in my first playthrough of Emerald, and funny enough, I had Draco. I knew I should have gotten, a uh, Lotad to use, like, a water gun or something to take down her nose pass or, like, a, uh, Machop or a Makahita, I don't really remember. But even with Trico, Roxanne gave me a lot of trouble, and I have no idea why. That's interesting. Uh, okay. We're going to talk your favorite gym leader. Hmm. Given that there are so many good ones, it's hard for me to choose. Now we're just going to go gym leader, not, we'll, we'll go not Elite Four right champion. Now. Because those will come up really soon. Yes. Believe me. Just right after this, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. That makes it interesting. Okay. Hmm. I will say... In terms of gym leaders, Clement is one of the funniest ones. If you ever watch the anime, you all know the gag. What, what is... Um... Clement's gag? No. The future is now, thanks to science. I meant, like, what type is... He's electric. Electric, okay. But I have to say my one of the best ones is probably Brock, due to how great of a companion he was for Ash in the anime. The gags with him hitting on every woman he meets only to get dragged away by Misty or Max and get poison jabbed by his Krogunk. So he's like the ladies man of Pokemon. Or so he thinks. Right. He just fails spectacularly in the field of love. Uh, love is complicated. Like, I am the ladies' man of pickleball. <laughs> true story. True story. And that's actually one of my favorite things. Anyhow. I have so many good... 
I have so many favorite gym leaders. Yep. I think if I had to go with one, I would have to go with Skyla. Um, I mean, seriously, uh, the TCG, I play a lot of Pokemon cards, and Skyla has always been one of my favorite cards to use. It oh, literally yeah. just get you a trainer card out of the deck. And that sometimes just comes in the clutch, but I do like her design a lot. Mm -hmm. um, she you know, her gym, her gym is pretty challenging at some points, right? I mean, Not to mention the puzzles are cool as all hell. Yes, yes, yes. You got the cannons. I don't remember what the one from Black 2 and White 2 was, which stinks because I watched Jugga Conroy's LP of that. Yeah, that, that's just something uh, interesting. And uh, another gym leader I have a lot of like for... I'm sure a lot of you guys like her too. Um, Nessa. This is another gym leader I have a lot of respect for. And uh, funny story is she almost beat me in my first playthrough. My cousin Wes and I were playing my first playthrough of Sword, and uh, her Dreadnought managed to knock out all my Pokemon except Pikachu. Luckily, my Pikachu managed to paralyze her Dreadnought, and that's how I ended up winning. <laughs> funny enough. So, uh, yeah, those two are my favorite. Next one, Elite Four. The best Elite Four member, in my opinion, I would probably have to say Lance is one of the coolest, but he's not one of my all-time favorites. Hmm. To be honest, I have to say one of the coolest Elite Four members ever is Grimsley from Black and White. His dark type appeal, his whole shtick on flipping a coin, sometimes it lands on heads, sometimes it's tails, supposedly sometimes it doesn't land at all, but he's always found, I've always found Grimsley interesting, especially with his teammates. You got Pokemon like Basharp, Drapion, Crocodile, Scrafty. You know, Scrimsley has just always interested me. What about you? Uh, I actually have to look at who's in there. Uh, oh, having a brain fart with the Elite Four, I see. Listen, it's been a while. That's okay. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going... Elite 4. Elite 4, okay. Okay, so I am looking... Than the uh, Elite Four members. Yeah. Is Caitlyn one? Yes. Yeah, okay. From Black and White. Yes. Uh, Caitlyn would be my favorite. Uh, generally speaking, I am looking at the list currently, and I'm just going to go through some see who else was in the Elite Four. Yeah. Kahili or Kahili. Yeah, Kahili. Uh, she's another. Cool Elite Four member. Yes, for sure. And uh, that's where I would go. I actually had to look it up because it's been so long since I've discussed about the Elite Four members. Now, Champion... Cynthia's the best, hands down, given that she has given so many Pokemon players nightmares in their playthroughs and has wrecked a lot of their teams due to how powerful her Garchomp is. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, obviously, you know it. Uh, gonna go with uh, Cynthia, too. 100%. Worst champion, Gita from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I mean, who in their right mind would have Glamora be last when you can set up Stealth Rocks or Toxic Spikes <laughs> early on? Oh, my God. Think great. about it, man. Yeah, sure. I really don't know who the worst champ. Actually, wouldn't Hal be like a champion of some sort? You could consider him a champion. Yeah, I think he'd be the worst, though. 
right? Not including Trace from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. How does Lance lose to that guy? Oh! Trace from Let's Go. Oh, that's who you named your... Oh, yeah. Mm, Trace that's... is basically the blue of Let's Go. Makes sense, yeah. Because if you played Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee, they're basically loose remakes of Yellow, and instead of Blue being your rival, who is Gary, you got... Uh, you got to name your own Trace. butt. Yeah. Right. But Trace is just not as good of a rival or champion as Blue. Not even close. Right. And the funny thing is, I think when Andrew was naming... I think he named it after me, but he said it was rude instead of... Deal. Mm. So she, he was just like, oh, I just named it out. I'm like, thanks. Um, yeah, so that would be my pick. Worst rival. Yeah, worst, worst rival. Hop? Yeah, I, I don't mind Hop, but I will say he did get kind of annoying. Yeah, he's just like, hey, let's battle, let's battle. And like, when I get to like a critical part, I'm like, no, 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 my team can't take it. Or... I don't know if I'll ever be able to step out of Lee's shadow, considering he's Leon's little brother. Uh, yeah. Just be saying, I'm going to be the next champion, and yet he loses to you each opportunity, despite you capturing. Really, you really can't, like, lose to someone constantly and say, oh, I'm going to be the champion. Exactly. Not to mention, Bede being a completely condescending jerk to you, it's just... Really, knock it off with the self entitlement. You're like, oh, I'm endorsed by the chairman. I'm better than you. Shut up. I mean, I think, I think, yeah, I think we were saying that earlier, right? Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Your favorite legendary. Favorite legendary would have I didn't to mean be. I mean, to cut it off like that, but yeah. Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah. My favorite legendary would have to be either Mewtwo or Rayquaza. Here's a hot take from me really quick. Rayquaza sounds better than Rayquaza, so I've always called it Rayquaza. Please do not hunt me in the comments for it. Okay. I so just prefer Rayquaza like over Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Rayquaza, right? Some people say Rayquaza. I prefer Rayquaza, Rayquaza. because I personally think Rayquaza just sounds Yeah, dumb. it's funny. I've never really put, like, crazy effort into pronouncing his name. Mm. Because whatever I say, now I do. Yeah. Um, my favorite legendaries. Oh my gosh, this is a tie ball game. Uh, it's either Rusher, Lugia. Both good choices. Yeah, either Rusher or Lugia. Or Zekrom. Or Lunala. Yeah, or Lunala. <coughs> I have way too many favorites. Uh, Rush Room, well, obviously, Rush Room is the mascot of the channel. True, too. Um, strangest looking legendary. I would have to say the, uh, Treasures of Ruin from Scarlet and Violet. You got the Qian, Lo Qian, I don't remember how you say their names. They're the four dark types. Uh, Po Chan? Pochian, there's the Sabertooth with the swords. Yeah, that. There's the sna snail like creature with the tablets. There's the fish with the beads. Okay, so what are we looking for? Treasures of Ruin. Treasure? Treasures of Ruin. Let's see if I can look it up here. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Okay. Wu Chen, Chen Pao, Ting Lu, and Chi Yu. And what are they again? Let me see them again. Okay, you got the fish. Oh, you got the cup. I think. That's a cup. Mm -hmm. uh, out of those four, I would actually say Chen Pao looks pretty cool. The saber tooth yeah, with the swords. He does. I think it looks the, to be the coolest one. So uh, she you the fish with the beads. I think it's a close second. Yeah. Uh, these all just look very unique, to be honest. Just like the ultra beasts. 
True. Coolest Ultra Beast, in my opinion, is Naganadal. Zerkatry. I mean, Zerkatry, I mean, you think about it. Like, how many hands does he have? Given that it's a bunch of wires all bundled together. I know, but... I mean, you wouldn't want to see him in your house, that's for sure, yeah. And if you ever see a Guzzlord, just get out of town. Just get... Go, 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 just go... Yeah. Um... Celestila. Celestila. Uh, it's definitely an interesting one. I mean, he's so big, but his eyes are so small. I mean, seriously, his eyes are like... He's beats. like... Yeah, beats. Compared to the whole thing as it's a giant it's rocket. Giant. I mean, seriously. I remember when Pokemon Go had his trailer, and dude, he was massive. Like, he would just walk through, and like, everyone would be like screaming to everyone, and I'm like, ooh, wouldn't want to be there. Uh, most dangerous Ultra Beast, in your opinion? Guzzlord. I would have to actually say a Zerkatry. Zerkatry. Do explain why you think Because so. if, you, if you see one right on side of your house... Given uh, that it can fire electricity out of its body... And also take away your electricity at the same time... Might not go very good. No. Uh, but Guzzlord, obviously, I think he would be one of the most dangerous. Well, given on Wicked Binge's videos on that involve it, it does get the gluttony medal. Right. I mean, it's gluttony itself, because it can eat whole cities, and no trace of it eating it can ever be found. Right. Very scary thought. Um, the Ultra Ruin and Ultra Sun and Moon? Really creepy area. That's where you find Guzzlord in the Ultra games. Oh, yeah. Very creepy. Very creepy. Okay, let's think here. So we talked about worst rival, worst gym leader, favorite gym leader. Best region, in your opinion. Best region. Well, that's actually a good one. What is yours? Hmm. I'd have to say it's either Hoenn or Sinnoh. What would be black and white? Unova is black and white. Unova, to be honest. Unifa for you. Best. Hmm? I was going to add another. Uh, yeah, go thing. ahead. Best mechanic that they added in each generation. For me, Mega Evolutions. Anything but Z moves. So you didn't care for Z moves? I don't know. I, well, no. Um, there was Mega Evolution. There was uh, Z moves. There was Gigant. There was. Dynamax and Gigantamax, and now there's Terrestrialization. Yeah, Terrestrialization, I mean, it's kind of cool, but... Yeah, I think it's better than Z-Moves. Worst one for me is easily the Z-Moves thing myself. Wait, okay, I worst said Z-Moves yeah, Z yeah. Z are the worst for me, yes, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, the team, if you were to be part of a team villain, which one would it be? I would say either the original Team Plasma that sides with N in Black 2 and White 2 because you help care for Pokemon, which is good. Or, this is going to be just for laughs for me, but I would like to join Team Mag Magma because I get the boss with the funniest voice of all time, Maxi of Team Magma. Shout out to Chucka Conroy. Yes, definitely. Um, I, I would definitely want to be a part of Team Plasma. Hmm. Team Star does sound interesting, though, even though they're just a bunch of, uh, crazy delinquent kids. students. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, just Team got a bunch Star, of senior items. No, Team Star bosses, they don't really scare me too much. Mm. Who was the first one? Giacomo. But For me, the... Aerie was the, uh, toughest one for me. She's the, uh, Fighting type one. Giacomo is the dark type one. Okay. Doesn't he ride on a rubber room? All five of them do. There's Giacomo, Mela, Ortega, Atticus, and Ari. Ari is one of the coolest looking ones, despite how intimidating the face paint makes her look. Yeah. Mela looks awesome, but what is up with those boots? I mean, she can't even. 
bend her knees when she's wa walking. It's like she's goose stepping. Don't look into it. I know. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> back to the conversation. Uh, Fused forms. So let's talk about fused forms. Who do you like better, black hero or white hero? In terms of pure design, black yes. hero looks more threatening. Yeah, black hero, yeah. Uh, just made or Don Wings? Yeah, Carlos Charisma. I personally can't say I have much of an opinion on either of them, but if I had to choose one, I think the one with Lunala, Don Wings. But Ultra Necrozma is pretty dumb. Yeah. I Woo! Man, I listen. I I I dust me looks cool. Both of them do. Honestly, it's a fifty-fifty tie. But yeah. I have to go with dust me at some point. Dust I me mean, me. I like the dominies. Don't get me wrong. Given that Lunala is one of your favorite legendary, yeah, Pokemon. for sure. Uh, have we hit up everything? We can throw in whatever we want. I know, I'm trying to think if there's something. Worst Pokemon games in the franchise, or in your opinion, your least favorites. For me, my least favorite, the worst games in the Pokemon franchise, in my opinion, Let's are either Eevee. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, or excluding remakes, Sword and Shield. No, that's actually a good question. I'm not sure if I have a least favorite. But the best games for me are either Platinum and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. What's your opinion on the uh, Hisuian one? Hisuian. Ooh, best form for each. No, no, no. I'm talking about region. the game. Uh, Arcus, yes, Legend Legends of Arcus. Arcus. Uh, How do you like that? Best regional variants. Okay. Or so worst regional yeah, variants. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about from a game perspective. Like, how do you? How, did you like it or not? I did like Legends Arceus, yes. I do have it on my Switch. And, and, and also, I like the free range open, you know. Gives you some Zelda Breath of the Wild vibes yeah. combined with Pokemon. Alright, so, worst game for me, I don't really have one. Best game? Honestly, Scarlet and Violet, you know? I like it. I, I kind of liked it. Hmm. Kind of gives you that kind of vibe, but like, it was just interesting, and, and plus I like games that you're able to see around the area instead of you're looking down at your character. But I personally, this is my hot take, I prefer the bird's eye view as opposed to the open world thing, but Legends Arceus pulls the open world thing off, but I prefer the bird's eye. Right, view. you rather prefer, and I don't blame you for that either. Because that's how Because, because Sun and Moon, Moon, I think they had your camera like tilted like this, yeah, but you were able to not see around. ahead, but you were able to see around you a little bit better. Yeah, that, I didn't mind that. I I liked that. Yeah, for sure. Um, Most evil, evil team leader? Getsis. I agree. Getsis is my top three most evil villainous team leaders are Getsis, Giovanni and Cyrus. Weakest team leader. Villain. Guzma, given that most of his Pokemon are bugs. And yeah, don't Guzma. get me started on I mean, Golisopod's emergency exit. It, uh, oh yeah, it automatically it goes back, yeah. When it's at half health. Wimp. <laughs> that should be Wimpod's uh, thing. Is it? Yeah, it's... Oh, it is. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, it is. Wimpod will literally run away from you before you can catch it, but if you're riding Tauros, you can just chase it down and catch it willy-nilly. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, Glaring Birds. Moltres is the coolest looking one, in my opinion. I, I agree with that. Moltres is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Zapdos is kind of funny because you have to chase them all the way through... The wild uh, area. Yeah, the wild area. Oh gosh, that must and be. Galarian Articuno, you have to find in the uh, Crown Tundra. That must be a number. Um, 
Roaming legendary Pokemon is a terrible get, is a terrible mechanic. Do not bring it back, please, game freak. Uh, what were we thinking about for worst legendaries? Did we go through that? No, we didn't. No, I don't think so. We talked about our favorite legendaries. Yeah. Worst legendary by region is very tough to say. Uh, I'm going to actually say Regice, Regirock. Regice, Registeel, and Regirock. Well, Registeel is all right. Yeah, it's balanced between the three, between the two. Yeah. Regirock is a pure physical defensive. Yeah, 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 but when you think about design, they're just rocks. Yeah. But then again, I mean, they're really interesting. Um, Worst legendary in my opinion, I don't really know if there's one out there. If we're I would say in things. terms of battle, one of the worst ones is Regigigas, because right. despite how awesome and fearsome it looks, given that ability, which it's, is slow start... Yeah, and by the way, he, he's he's really cool, but I think, you know, the ability battle-wise, yeah, it. no. The ability cripples it. Um, Mythical-wise... The worst one is Fiona. It's just a mana fee, but with 80 in every stat, no way to learn Tail Glow, no way to learn Heart Swap, and it does not evolve into mana fee, and if you ask me, that's the scariest part of Fiona. Um, worst one for me? Uh, yeah. Fiona, yeah, probably. Meloletta has been growing on me lately. It is cute. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I personally prefer the Aria form over the pre pre wet form, but that's just me. Yeah, that, that's just you. That's fair. Yeah. Um, another mythical I like is Darkrai. I mm -hmm. mean, seriously, who doesn't like Darkrai? The Freddy Krueger of Pokemon, but without the... Claws. Razor Claws, yeah. Right. Given that Darkrai doesn't mean to cause nightmares, but it just does so as a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah which is nothing wrong with that. Ring. So, anyhow, guys, we got to get going. Uh, we have some stuff to attend to, but thank you guys for watching, uh, and uh, we will see you guys later. Alligators, oh, peace. Peace.